the Florida Panthers. What a game as Autumn Sanders scored the touchdown and the two-point conversion is good as the Sanders take down Florida in Sunrise, Florida. 8-2. A huge win by Ottawa in a game we probably did not see coming. I'll be honest. I did not see Ottawa scoring eight goals tonight against one of the best teams in the National Hockey League. Florida going into tonight's game won 14 out of 15 games at home on the season. But let's just say they did not win today's game. Now, Ottawa in that first period started off hot. Great start for Ottawa. You know, five minutes in, five shots on goal. And within those first five minutes, they get the opening goal. Austin Watson puts it home, uh, gives Ottawa the 1 0 lead. Uh, and Ottawa did not look back from there. Florida did tie it at 1. We go to the second period of play. And this is where Ottawa really takes over. A gambrel, breakaway goal. Josh Norris gets his 13th. Tim Stutzla rips it far in. Josh Norris gets his second of the game to make it uh, 14th on the year for him. Drake Batherson gets a goal. Wide open net. Nick Paul puts one home. And then Nick Paul puts the other one home. As the Ottawa Sanders win it 8-2 over the Florida Panthers in a wild game. I don't even need to talk about the Panther goals if you're a Florida fan watching this. The goals scored by Florida were, were Huberto and Sam Reinhardt. It is also important to note that Alexander Barkov was not in the lineup tonight for Florida. But that frankly does not matter. Uh, one player does not mean you should lose by six goals. More importantly, lose 8-2. to two. But regardless, Florida, terrible game. Gotta feel bad for Spencer Knight. He's having a bit of a rough year. Still an incredible prospect. There's a really, really great future ahead for him. But really a tough game here for Spencer Knight. But for Ottawa, hey, hell of a game for the Senators. Drake Batherson, back-to-back -back games for him with three points. That contract is an absolute steal. He's on pace for just under 100 points, I believe, this season now. And, uh, you know, making under $5 million Drake Batherson for the next six years. Um, mwah, chef's kiss. Shout out to Pierre Dorian for an absolute steal of a contract. Now, Josh Norris... They tried to feed him in that third period on the power play to get a hat trick. He cannot complete the hat trick, which would have been interesting. I don't know how many other lines in the National Hockey League uh, this season have all three players in the line scoring hat tricks this year. Uh, Batherson and, of course, Brady Kachuk have scored hat tricks this year. Um, so, hey, Josh Norris, come on, join the party. But Norris has joined the party enough. 14 goals on the year. Ottawa has not had a 30 goal score since Milan McCulloch. Uh, six to eight years ago. No, even more. Wow. I'm old, I guess you can call it. But uh, since like 2012, I think we haven't had a 30-goal scorer. So Josh Norris, 14 goals through like less than 25 games. It's looking pretty good. I don't wanna, I don't wanna jinx anything. I'll knock on wood. We'll see what happens. But Norris has been absolutely fantastic, and you know he's been quiet about his goals. Quietly scoring some of the most goals in the National Hockey League. Um, he's definitely up there. I think he's in the top 15 for goals scored this year. And uh, Norris. He has a hell of a career. He is going to get paid. You know, he's going to be a restricted free agent, I believe, at the end of this year. And, um, you know, Ottawa's going to have to pay this guy because this kid is an absolute stud and he's driving that first line in the center position. And another key point from tonight's game is Sanders' penalty kill was fantastic tonight. 0 for 6 was Florida on the power play tonight. Ottawa. Uh, did not do themselves any favors. Sure, there's a couple calls here or there. Eh, maybe shouldn't have been called, but Ottawa won 8-2. I'm not going to complain about the ref uh, or officiating whatsoever. Um, but regardless of the calls or not, Ottawa uh, came to the challenge and stopped one of the, uh, the, one of the National Hockey League's best power plays and one of the NHL's best um, you know, teams. So Ottawa killing all six power plays for Florida is fantastic. Frankly, especially in that second period when Ottawa was only up by a goal or two, um, you know, those penalty kills really came clutch, especially when Florida tied it at two. Uh, that great response there from Norris and then Stutzel like moments later to give Ottawa a 4-2 lead. You know, Ottawa just really, really played well against Florida here, pushing them to the outside, but more importantly, not giving them um, an immense amount of chances. You know, in that second period, Florida definitely drove a little bit, but the third period, they were done. They got killed. Ottawa was all over them, and uh, I have to really give credit to Ottawa's penalty kill for that because they knocked all the wind out of the sails for Florida, especially when they tied it at two there early in the second period of play. And because of that, it allowed Ottawa to continue to push, allowed them to 
keep and sustain their momentum and of course ultimately ending up putting up a touchdown and a two-point conversion now ottawa has now outscored florida and the tampa bay lightning both florida teams 12 and 2 in the last two games may i remind you tampa bay is a defending stanley cup champion and florida is one of the top teams if not the top team in the national hockey league right now out shooting them i mean outscoring them 12 to 2 that's just sensing them, baby. What a performance here from Ottawa in the back-to-back games. And, you know, Ottawa scores eight goals for the first time since the 2011 season. I have definitely not seen an eight-goal game, obviously, since the 2011 season, but it's been quite a long time. I can't, can't even remember that game. I was very, very young at the time. So, you know, a historic night for Ottawa here, uh, scoring eight goals. I think this is the first time they've scored eight goals on the road as well since t- 2008 against Toronto. I believe I saw Sportsnet tweet that out. And, you know, now Ottawa's won their last five out of six. We're not exactly any are close to playoff contention yet but you know what it's early december there's a lot of hockey mid-december started pardon me uh there's a lot of hockey left and let's see what happens right now i'm just enjoying the kids play and this is what i really want to bring it to uh enjoying the kids play look these ridiculous numbers from ottawa's first line in their last six games combining for over 50 percent of the sander goals in their last 24 goals at 58 percent thanks to tsn for this graphic by the way look at the captain brady kachuk six goals nine points he had a hat trick nonetheless though very impressive in those six games nine points six of those were goals uh, josh norris eight points six goals drake batherson 11 points two goals fantastic last six games for that first line for ottawa and i think that first line for the sanders is one of the best first lines in the national hockey league and i think has the potential to be an elite first line for years and years and years to come thanks to break a chuck and of course drake batherson being locked in long term josh norris you're the only one left let's make it happen let's make it happen and i do want to point out that this graphic was posted midway through the third period of play so there may be a point or two uh, added to like a guy like kachuk who may have scored that uh, seventh goal for ottawa right now nhl.com is listing it as nick paul's goal um it looked like it went off brady kachuk but right now they're calling it uh nick paul goal so nick paul is two on the night So we'll see what happens there, but regardless, an impressive night for Ottawa, an impressive last six games for that first line for the Sanders. The kids are all right, the future is bright, and the guys are finally playing right. So uh, speaking of Shane uh, Wright, Shane Wright, um, you know what? Uh, Can't wait to watch him in the World Juniors, but right now maybe Sens fans should be looking more at winning games and less at Shane Wright. I'm doing both. I want to win games. And I'm okay with getting Shane right. I'm just vibing right now, and I think that's how a lot of you guys are feeling too. Uh, Besides that, let's get to the Sense Talk star of the night. Voted by you, the fans. Um, You know, there's a lot of great options tonight, so I really don't know who we're going to pick. Um, but let's see what happens. So the Sense Talk star of the night, voted by you, the fans. It is Josh Norris with 52% of the vote. Not shocking to me. Uh, he had that massive goal to make it 3-2 Ottawa. The game-winning goal to make it 3-2 Ottawa in response to Florida tying it at 2-3-2. Two, two, uh, that Norris goal on the breakaway. A nice little cut-in move. A fantastic game for Norris. He has 14 goals on the season. And this guy, ladies and gentlemen, will get paid and deservingly so besides that thank you all for watching make sure to comment below let me know what you think how are we feeling after a massive sends win baby i want to hear it let me know in the comment section down below besides that thank you all for watching make sure to like this video share this cool stuff and of course click the big red button down there make it great and subscribe to us and most importantly of all turn the notification bell on so you get notified whenever we upload a new video besides that thank you for watching i appreciate the support go sends go what a win